here. We're all ears. And uh, now receiving reports that uh, the Corps' NA automated rendezvous system, which is the purpose of this two-day free flight of the Progress away from the station to test its uh, capabilities uh, for future integration into Progress uh, vehicles being uh, prepared uh, for future missions uh, to the International Space Station. That system is now powered up, and the command has been given uh, with the hooks now opening uh, that have held uh, the progress uh, in place at the International Space Station. We are expecting physical separation uh, between the progress and the station less than a minute from now. And uh, right on time, we have physical separation as the progress has undocked from the International Space Station at uh, 3.58 and 30 seconds a.m. Central Time. The undocking occurring 260 statute miles over Kyrgyzstan. Right on time at 3.58 and 30 seconds a.m. Central Time, the progress uh, now slowly backing away from the aft port of the Zvezda service module. You can see in the lower left-hand corner of your screen two other Russian vehicles in the foreground. That is the Progress 55 resupply craft that arrived uh, at the International Space Station less than two weeks ago. And uh, just behind it, docked uh, to the Rosviet module of the International Space Station, is the Soyuz TMA-11M spacecraft that will be returning to Earth in uh, about uh, three weeks, less than three weeks from now, to carry Mikhail Turin, Rick Mastracchio, and Koichi Wakata home after almost six months in orbit. We're about a minute and a half away from uh, the firing of uh, the Progress thrusters uh, in the first uh, separation burn. This will be a 15-second burn of two of the uh, thrusters on the 53 Progress vehicle. This will be followed by about a one meter per second retrograde burn about two orbits from now to increase the separation rate. Again, uh, 53 Progress will phase uh, to a distance of about uh, 300 miles in front of the space station, then perform uh, two additional burns to move above the station to a distance of uh, some two and a half miles above the complex. Orbital mechanics will take hold and phase the progress back behind the station for the initiation of its automated rendezvous sequence. Progress uh, to return to the complex on Friday with a redocking scheduled at 7.15 a.m. Central Time. 